Dicks it. Cat, sit down. Sup, Butts? That's Chief to you. Yes, sir, Chief Butts. First thing I want to know is which one of you dingleberries peed on my doormat? That's what I thought. I meant to do this earlier. It seems how your last stunt planned to be in the hospital for three weeks. I guess I'm gonna have to do it now. Oh, are we getting promoted? <laughs> promoted? I'm gonna miss that humor. Turn in your badge, and you too. Aw, oh, man. I just earned this. Not your merit badge, you idiot. Your police badge. Hand it over. How am I supposed to hand it over when you ain't got any hands handy to hand it to? Don't get smart with me, Dixon. Eh, that'd be a first. Hey, my badge is dirty. Let me go ahead and clean it up for you. Whoops, I think I swallowed it. Give me a sec, I'll get it back for you. Just forget it. Get out! Get out! Hold on to your butt, butts. I got this. Do you see what I have to put up with every day? Out! You've got one more shot. If you don't solve that case I gave you three weeks ago, you both are going to end up in the infirmary. Christopher! <laughs> You can keep it. <laughs> Dixon, get that cat out of here. Oh, your basement's kind of... Let me go. I need an adult. A safe space. You're not my real father. Okay. I also left a couple of dead birds on your porch. Just in case you get hungry later. And oh, don't forget to... <laughs> Dixon, get I can't believe you're driving again. I can't believe you picked scissors again. You know I can only pick rock with this bomb. Well, you at least know where we're going, right? Katrina Smith's joint. She's the only one ballsy enough to do the kind of heinous shenanigans we're investigating. And you know how to get there? Of course I do, numbnuts. In fact, I'm just about to knock on her front door with your car. Say what? Wakey, wakey, Rimmin. I think Cat's talking to you, Cat. What did you call me? Cat? Mm, it's short for Katerina. Wait, you named him Cat? Well, he doesn't come when he's called, so why should I give him a name? I usually just call him Asshole. Dickweed. I should gut you like a fish right now, you pig. Mmm. Fish. And bacon. You know. If I gut you first, I can restrain my viola. Yeah, I wouldn't do that if I were you. My fleas and ticks have been mating recently, and I'm fairly certain the offspring has developed a taste for human flesh. You disgust me. Thank you. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got to go use the litter box. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, baby. <laughs> uh, ah. <laughs> oh, that is nice. Oh, two shakes. <laughs> hey, what are you doing after this? <laughs> uh, uh, what? You little flea bitten monster. Hey, don't forget the ticks. Actually, the babies like to be called flicks. You know, my Uncle Bob always used to tell me, you need to spay and neuter your pets.
your uncle sounds like a douchebag. Now, I don't know how you two found out about my plan to take over the city today, but nobody drives a car through my front door and gets away with it. Hmm, sorry about that. He can't really see over the dash. You let him drive? Psst. Hey, he's not very good at rock, paper, scissors. Look, I'm a very busy woman right now, so I'm going to give you two, two choices. You can either pull your car out of my living room and get lost, leave me to stage a few prison breaks, crash the local economy, and buy up all the land in the city. Or you can try to take me in and see how that plays out to the logical conclusion. Lord knows I don't need two dead cops on my plate today. You really think we're going to let you get away with this and shirk our duty? For free? I tell you, Kat, that was a really bad crisis. It's a good thing we didn't get involved. Tell me about it. You think the chief is going to accept our apology donuts? I don't know. Uh, we did eat all but one. Yeah, I replaced them. Don't worry. He'll never know the difference. Ooh, donuts. Ah, flex! Cat. Oh, stupid cat. Gonna pull your whiskers out your face. Tell me how you like that, Mr. Cat. Major Cat. More like the rat. Gonna swing you by your tail till all nine lives go splat. 